Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to a Dodge Ram video. Yeah, I just showed you that we just got this truck, but knowing me, I can't leave well enough alone. Got some plans for this, but right now, I have to get rid of these silver wheels on a black vehicle. I, I just feel like black looks better. So, we're going to plasti dip these black real quick. There's a million videos out on how to, so I'm just going to take you along. If you want to know how to dip your wheels the right way, go to dipyourcar.com on YouTube and they have a full tutorial on how to do it. So I'm just going to take you along for the ride. I'm not going to really explain what I'm doing. Take you along, let you see it. I'm actually going to be filming two videos. The next video is actually going to be the calipers. Calipers are in, you know, not very good shape, 63,000 miles, so could be in better shape. So I'm going to go ahead and paint those while I have the wheels off. So I'm going to film two videos at the same time. This one will go up tonight. This is Saturday. The next one will be out tomorrow on Sunday night. So subscribe to the channel. Don't miss them. So let's try to change the look of this Ram for really less than 50 bucks. So we got the first wheel off. Now we're going to take the dipyourcar.com pre-dip spray. I can't rave on this product enough how good this is to prep wheels for Plasti Dip. I've dipped two cars and I've dipped multiple sets of wheels. All came out great. No adhesion problems. The big thing with Plasti Dip is to put enough coats on it that it peels all in one piece. So we're going to do like seven or eight coats on each wheel just to make sure we have adequate coverage and to make sure that we get that durability and peelability the Plasti Dip is known for. So I'm going to prep this wheel with this and get started. So I've got the first wheel prepped. Now typically I would use dip release on the wheels, but unfortunately I thought I had some, I don't, but I've already got these off. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip them and I will deal with getting it off the tire later. Easily done, we can still do it. Just not as easy as the dipyourcar.com dip release. So let's go ahead and start putting some light coats on these and see what they turn out like. Right, guys so we finished the rear wheel i've got it out here drying also have another project going on to the left it turned out very very well i sprayed some overspray onto the tire that way it will peel off of the tire easy since i didn't have any dip release but i've already got the front tire off it's back over here so again i'm going to use our pre-dip spray hose this thing down clean it up and put seven to eight coats on it or around a can and a half is what i ended up using on the other one all right, guys, I just laid down the seventh or maybe eighth coat of dip on the front wheel. I know I'm going to kind of leave you on a cliffhanger here, but you've probably seen in the background, I'm doing the calipers. I'm going to do the reveal on the next video of what it looks like complete. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, and be sure to check in tomorrow night, and you will see the completed truck. 
Uh, it looks like it's about to rain, so I may only get one side of it done today. But like I said, I also removed the Nerf bars, like the running boards. Not really my style. Next is going to be dipping the emblems because I want pretty much all the chrome off of the truck. I'm going to get headlights and tail lights as well. Just trying to pick out which ones I want to get. This video is effectively over, but subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check in tomorrow. Or turn on your post notifications and you'll just get a notification for the calipers, the wheels, and whatever else I decide to do between now and then. So I'll see you guys on the next video.